you're anywhere near downtown Denver today, you may have heard several loud booms. And that cannon fire was part of the inauguration ceremony for Governor Jared Polis. And Denver 7's Megan Lopez was there, and she tells us the victories the governor celebrated during his speech and which topics were left out. Raise your right hand. I, Jared Polis. I, Jared Polis. It started with a swearing in and a photo op. I'm going to be taking, as I did in my last inauguration, a, uh, a selfie, an inaugural selfie. A proverbial victory lap before the real work begins and a speech. Colorado wants unity, not division. That speech calling for togetherness in the same breath as it called out election deniers. We want real results over partisan ideology. Governor Jared Polis's second inaugural address was brief and it left a few big holes. The governor did not, for instance, mention COVID by name, despite the fact that the pandemic dominated his first term in office. The closest he got. Nobody could have predicted all that the last four years would bring. A vague mention of the unpredictability of his last term, but it was the pandemic that forced shutdowns, stay at home orders, mask mandates and executive orders. And it was the pandemic that caused so much backlash for the governor. In Instead, he and his supporters briefly highlighted their accomplishments. Free full day kindergarten and preschool starting this fall. Lowering the cost of prescription drugs. Those medication savings came from a 2021 bill to create a prescription drug review board. But so far, its effects have been limited, and a federal law this year could have a larger impact on drug prices in the state. Together, we passed reinsurance, which lowered the cost of premiums by 24% over what we'd done last year. However, those insurance premiums are set to increase by more than 11% on average this year. It's the largest jump since 2018, but advocates say it's lower than what it would have been without reinsurance. The governor also focused on affordability. And we're going to keep using every tool we have to help save Coloradans money. That means lower taxes, lower transportation costs. But in July, a new two cent per gallon gas fee is set to kick in. Still, for Governor Polis and the Democrats, this ceremony, a final seal on their dominance over state politics. There's no time to waste, so our work begins now. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.